funny. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Round Beer Review. Here, you can fucking introduce this. All right. This is a beer that uh, we got, got from... Who are they here? Who's in the review? Uh, what? You're supposed to introduce the people. I will in a second. I'm doing people. it my way. You're shut your, fired. shut your fucking mouth. Fired. All right. Get out of here. We got this beer from uh, Tim Fowler's brother, Paul. Um, Paul is the only talented member of Red River Rebellion, so I just wanted to put that also shot out Also of the Fowler there. family. And, and probably of the Fowler family. Uh, <laughs> certainly better than Tim. Uh, this is a, uh, a craft brew beer from Boston, Massachusetts, brought back from Boston. Plymouth. Uh, well, Plymouth, Boston, they're like five minutes away from each other. Um, this was brewed on uh, July 10th of 2012, so it's a fresh IPA. Um, I'm looking really forward to this. Uh, Paul really likes this, apparently, um, because we're really funny. Um, I don't personally see it, especially when uh, the reverence here, but that's just on the deck. Uh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> this, this is the Rhino. I'm the Honey Monster, and we're going to drink some Mayflower IPA. No, you're the beer monster. So, so what's the alcohol percentage? Uh, what up? was it? You fucked it up already. Seven. You're supposed to read it. Seven percent. It's like seven percent. And Whatever. Sixty-nine IBU. And sixty-nine IBU. And it almost broke my BB bar fly to open it. Yes. And that's why you don't introduce things. Whatever. Fail. I don't introduce things. <laughs> no, people do not give me responsibility. <laughs> you no responsibility. Mm, fair enough. Drink this beer. I think I can handle Ooh, that much. Off white head. I like that. It's a good sign. Racist. Mm. Mm. Smells. Yeah, damn, smells a little hoppy. <laughs> not super hoppy or anything. Cloudy. Cloudy and an orange color. I, I already yeah. like this. Yeah. And yeah, you're right. The head is not really white. It has yeah. a little bit of an off color to it. Yeah. Looks really nice. I mean, again, visual appeal, not everything, but it, <laughs> it is something. <laughs> Almost nothing, usually. Uh, oh. Okay, there's citrus hops in there. It smells like some grapefruit. I get a mm -hmm. little bit of cedar. Yep. Um, there's one more in there I'm picking up. Finish you, okay. Oh, what is that? Um, it's spray. It's 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 not spray. <laughs> Are you sure? Bastard. Okay, cedar, grapefruit, and the last one I'm picking up is like a uh, just a woody smell. Pizza. Yeah, and I actually, you know what? This actually tells you what an IPA is supposed to be on the label. <laughs> it tells you what an IPA is actually supposed to be. Very good. It tells you it's supposed to be very good. <laughs> That's what it tells you. An IPA is supposed to be very good. Uh, I, I want you to suck it. No. Yes. Does it tell you it's supposed to be a beer that can travel for long distances? That's exactly what it says. This is a British Bar expanded. English brewers added extra hops to keep beer fresh for increasingly long sea voyages. The beer on board the Mayflower shared this trait. Mayflower puts a descendant's twist on this style with a powerful hop profile balanced by plenty of malt character. Taste the history. Alrighty, so one of the few oh. that actually admits the true history of it. Yeah, not like Alexander Keys. Hey, that's how they get to sneak in there. Ooh, that's an interesting IPA. You literally had no mouth for a second. <laughs> <laughs> like, right there, you have no mouth right now. It's just... Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, man. Um, Bristle. <laughs> you definitely could taste the malts. Yeah, the um, malts come out right away. Yeah. The hop the bitterness... Hops linger, like... but the hops are not... The hop, the hop bitterness is intense right away. And it lingers, but as it lingers, it isn't really all that intense. Yeah. Yeah. Which actually is almost exactly what you'd want. You want to get that punch in the mouth, but I don't want it to sit there for like an hour so reminding me. Slaps you, yeah. and just kind of caresses not, your cheek. Not, not your yeah. typical American IPA where it is just, you know, you drink it, and it's just bitterness, which just rolls down your throat for 25 minutes. And you just yeah, regret the fucking second, the second, the second you were with Mike Lachlan. Yeah, that's what I do to your face. <laughs> roll down your throat for 25 minutes. <sighs> it's got it's got an interesting balance because it feels. And after that, Mike Laughlin will never have another woman, ever. That's a lie. Ever. That that is a bold face lie. <laughs> <laughs> you could you could probably get a government warning on him that says that. I'll say is nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. That, no, it's not. just opinion. It's just opinion. That's what we do here. Just opinion. Bit of we opine. Oh, oh, 
Okay, back to the fucking <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. Um, I found government warning, however. Oh, okay. You went okay. Further. I went too far? Okay. Uh, well, I don't do that. Uh, all right, well, uh, I would say this is decent. It's good. Um, I'm getting junk pats. Uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's good. Um, I don't it think it's... It doesn't build either. That's really good for me. Yeah. Like, as a, as a, I don't think it's necessarily as balanced as I'd want it to be. Like, a little more balance uh, might be in order. Um, only because those malts come in right away, but they're immediately annihilated by the hops. Like, you get, like, just a, a little bit of taste, and then boom, they're gone. Or I'd, like, maybe a little more of it, then roll into the hops. you fun of me because I can't snap my fingers. You can't snap your fingers? Why not? You're an asshole. I'm going to go home and cry now. Hey, you are <laughs> crying. <laughs> this is start crying. You are <laughs> Um, yeah. yeah, I'm with you. I understand what you're talking about, just obliterated right away, but then it fades, and it's nice, it yeah. fades. Uh, you're getting a lot of the citrus, you're getting a little bit of the woody stuff, you're getting, the cedar comes in in the middle. Uh, the more you drink it, the more the cedar comes out, yeah. which is the part I don't like. Oh, uh, see, I, I don't see, mind because that. I like okay. the I like citrus hops. I'm not a big fan of the cedar you See, I like gin. Ones. So, gin, yeah. I like yes. anything that kind of tastes like a Christmas tree. So, anyway, for me, I'd give it a 775. I would buy this again, and I would drink it again, and I would recommend this to people. Yeah, I'd give this an 8.5. Uh, I, myself, I'm going to go high. Paul, you didn't get us a total skunked out garbage beer, so good work. Kudos to you, and happy birthday, I think. It was some of you, happy birthday, I imagine. He has a birthday at some point. I don't know. By the uh, time the video goes up, it's probably passed. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> he has like 200 videos to edit. So Possibly. It's like, Happy Christmas. Merry New Year. Pre-birthday, uh, present birthday, future birthday. <laughs> Either way, happy birthday. 2014, what's Thank up? Thank you very much, Paul. <laughs> there was another one, too. So. Yeah, good news. Yeah. Good news. Bye Thank guys. you.